Hi, this is Rob Smucker from Smucker Manufacturing. I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to thank our dealers and the farmers who use our weed wipers in the field. Um, it's a great way of uh, controlling weeds, taller growing weeds in your crops. And so um, this issue is directly uh, about fixing an, an issue that we had in our weed wiper feed system. Um, in October, we got a, um, a batch of elbow fittings from a vendor and didn't realize that there's in some of them there are obstructions in the channel so it was restricting the flow going to the feed system the way um, all the sponge weed wipers work is we're feeding them um, from the push to connect fitting going to the center of the feed tube and it goes in from an elbow into the feed tube so we're going to talk today about how to um, take the elbow fitting that we've sent to you um, and replace it in the center here. So I have the assistance of uh, the gentleman that builds the majority of our weed wipers for us. His name is Adam. So Adam, if you wanna come on over here, we're gonna walk through uh, making this change. So um, we're gonna start with, uh, uh, actually let's, let's pull a, a, a sponge uh, and pull one off of a, a new weed wiper. So to start with, you're gonna have a sponge just like this. Um, get it wet and pull it off away from the elbow fitting, okay? Key thing here on your sponge is you wanna um, wring it out. Um, it's gotta be obviously wet to get it back onto the, um, the feed tube, but um, go ahead and wring it out after it's been wet. Set it aside. And then we're gonna show you in the center here, Adam's going to use his razor knife and a pliers are really the only two tools you're gonna need. Make the cut there. Pull that elbow fitting out. You're gonna notice um, once that fitting's out, you're gonna obviously throw the old one away because there's probably um, uh, blockage in that one. Okay, and you'll notice there's an O-ring on the uh, elbow fitting here too, so Adam removed that one. He's gonna put the O-ring, of course, into the PVC, and this piece is gonna go into the tubing. Simple enough. Now he's going to, uh, we can remove this tape here. You're gonna use the chemical resistant tape um, that you'll be sent. And uh, he's gonna show you, um, the key here is, you'll see that it's already taped down. Um, you don't wanna block any of these feed holes and take that wide tape. How many times do you go around, Adam? I go three times around. Okay. And then it just pushes the O-ring against the uh, hole to make a good seal. And keeps the uh, elbow from getting in the way when reinserting it into the sponge. The key here is then again, when you put the sponge on, you're gonna to wanna to do it from the side that doesn't have the elbow fitting on, slide the sponge back over, um, wring it out real good after you put it back on so it can dry. If you're a dealer and you have these on your shelf and you're selling them as new, um, obviously you just don't wanna chip it when they are uh, wet, but let it dry. It usually takes about a day, a good day in the sun or, uh, um, or with airflow. Two, uh, two days in with airflow inside the shop. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please call us if you have any questions. Uh, the number is 1-800-333-4503 and ask for one of the weed wiper uh, people, which would be either Rob Smucker or Derek Smith. Thank you so much for watching.